G'day, in this video what I want to talk about is wiring on the front calipers of a motorcycle and this is an important aspect of preparing a bike for track work. If you're going to formally race this in any of the classes, superbike class or uh, you know, clubman class or something like that, you'll find that actually one of the checklist items that they've got for scrutineering is that the front calipers are actually wired on. Now, in order to do that, there's a couple of things that you require. The, the tools you require are going to be, you know, probably a pair of side cutters, but uh, in some cases you get away with just this one tool. This is the tool that is used to actually spin the wire that is used to wire the calipers on. And you need a roll of the wire suitable for that. So if you've got those things, the only other thing that you need to have access to is a set of bolts that hold the calipers on that are pre-drilled. Um, these are the factory bolts that come in this BMW S1000RR and when you look at these you'll notice that first of all they're actually quite heavy, they're steel and they're not pre-drilled, they don't have any holes in it. So all we simply do is we just get ourselves a set of pre-drilled bolts. We've got these titanium versions which you get from ProBolt uh, here in Australia and uh, in European countries. So the ProBolt version made of titanium is a little bit, is a fair bit lighter than the original factory ones. The factory ones, when you weigh them as a pair, uh, so that's one side, they weigh 91 grams. The titanium alternative that is pre-drilled, they weigh 48 grams. So you actually save 43 grams per side, which is 86 grams in total. Now, does 86 grams matter? Well, it does, because this is unsprung weight. That's, that means when you remove mass by changing these bolts and going to lighter componentry, you've got less mass going up and down, creating inertia that the suspension's got to deal with as you negotiate bumps and roughness on the road. So it can contribute uh, in positive ways to the handling of the motorcycle and the ability of the suspension to actually do its job easier. So definitely go to titanium because you also get the pre-drilled holes. Now, um, the wiring, okay? As I said, you need a couple of things. You need the wiring uh, tool, which spins on uh, the wire itself, and then you need the, the twisty wire as well. So I'm pretty sure this is stainless steel wire, but it twists really good. And the way you do it, it's quite simple, right? All I simply do is poke the wire in the holes, Right, and then just fold it in half so it's kind of like the same length all the way down right, towards the next bolt. And this particular tool here, which I said is used for the twisting, right, all you simply do is you grab the wire about the distance that you want to do the twisting and apply the little locking mechanism that is part of the tool. And then all you do is pull the little central knob and it spins the wire. And you can see it's spinning up there. All right? There you go. Real nice twist in it. And then all I simply do now is take that piece of wire through the next bolt. Okay. I'll just go a little bit further. It's not quite the length I want. Okay. And all I simply do, poke the wire through the next bolt. And now, we finish off the twist. Once this now twists the bottom part, right, and all you simply do, Cut it off and then twist that little pointy end in so that it's not going to catch on things. I just, I just poke it into the center of the bolt itself and uh, it's out of the way. Now we've got a nice twisty wire they're holding on the uh, caliper bolts. There you go, pretty easy. Now the other thing to uh, keep in mind is when you put these bolts in, they need to be tensioned correctly. And uh, the correct tension, the easiest way to remember this is in this particular case we've got an M10 bolt. So uh, the, uh, Tristan from ProBolt actually gave me this tip. An easy way to remember is M6 bolts, you talk to about 10 newton meters. M8 bolts, you talk to about 20 newton meters. And M10 bolts, you talk to about 30 newton meters. And as a general rule, that's a pretty good way to go. It won't over tighten the bolts. 
So uh, there you go, that's how you wire on camper bolts.